For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then was first after the troubling of the water, step in was made whole of whatever disease he had. Verse 5, a certain man was there, which had an infirmity, 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that state, he hmm? says unto him, Will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, saying, Sir, I am no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, mm -hmm. but while I am coming, another step is down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. Yes. And immediately the man was made whole. Oh yes. Took up his bed and he walked. Yes. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Amen. God had a blessing to readers, hearers, and to doers of his holy word. Amen. I want to use a familiar topic. Jesus removes the excuses. All right. All right. All right. Jesus removes yes, it is. the excuses. Amen. Amen. He removes the excuses. If we are going to understand this text, first of all, there's something to be said about the place in the text. Uh huh. It's Bethesda, the pool. Then there's something to be said about the period in the text. It's the Sabbath day. Then there's something to be said about the people in the text. It's a pathetic crowd. There's the lame, the blind, and the impotent. Finally, there's something to be said about the problem in the text. When we think about this text, my first thought was that there is a physical condition. This man that is laying by the pool, 